Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Journey of the Five. Today we'll be heading off to Araguay Woods. I did record a, um, <clears throat> a random encounter a while ago, but I decided that it wasn't worth including in the video. So we have... Oh, I don't even remember anymore. It's been so long since I actually recorded this video. I'm doing the narration many weeks after I recorded it, so... I actually don't know what we're up against. I think it's a rogue. And I think that shady-looking person next to him is a chemist? <laughs> I have no idea. We'll have to... I'll have to play it by ear when we get in there. So I made Ramza a priest. Because I'm going to I'm going to be moving him definitely into the uh, the magical side of the tree. So what do we got here? There's definitely a rogue, yes. Let's get a crossbow. Triggers Ramza's regenerator, which is nice. Okay, so that geomancer looking chick is actually a ranger. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now is that a squire? A sleeper holding. Max 48%. Yeah, that that stalker person is definitely a chemist. <laughs> so I have um, Dante set up as a uh, trigger style something. I don't know. He's using a bow gun. <laughs> shot deals the same. Whenever she's charging, I'm just gonna shoot her in the face. And Cloud is a knight at this point. So we're gonna try to blade beam her. I don't know what blade beam's height restriction is though. Maybe we'll just braver her. That works too. Nice. Straight up killer. So, uh, Link's Song of Time sure is pretty OP. It's just like a free stop and <laughs> draw at range. It's pretty nice. We have two guys st status down and one dead. Oh, what the hell was that? I wasn't paying attention. What did I just charge? Regen has that huge of a... That is ridiculous. <laughs> it has been way too long since I played this. Now we're gonna move up and hit with Snake. Maybe we're gonna tear gas, yeah. Blind is such an amazing status effect for uh, anti-melee. We're just going to staff whack. Oh, we don't even have a staff. Okay, we're just going to punch this guy in the face. That works too. <laughs> we'll just beat up on him while he's stuck. I believe I recorded this back when I still had yet to update to a working version of the mod. So, the, st uh, the status procs are still broken. <laughs> So a cross slash will not inflict immobilize, which is too bad. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here with Link. I don't know for serious song. Okay, free MP. Oh, stop wears off, and he guards the braver. That's it's a horrible little coming. And she has a 16% chance to front shot Snake now. Follow up with a sleeper hold, which gets guarded. It's too bad. Oh, and the squire wakes up from sleep, too. Oh, only 22 health. 
Damn snake and his horrible brave. I mean faith. I mean he has horrible brave too. He has horrible both. So their uh, their units are back up. Sadly. We're gonna try to keep her down though. Cause it's no good having someone who can throw items around up and able to do stuff. You know, when I first entered this battle, I really thought it was going to be easy. Specifically because I had five units to their four, but it actually turns out that it's a really tough fight. Especially if you've only gained a level or two in between this one and the last one. So that, that caution is actually quite annoying, but we can get in behind him and uh, avoid all of his evasion. I'm definitely going to go for the uh, the tear gas because it has a higher hit rate, but it still misses anyway. We want to make sure that we can keep the... Um, the enemy is away from that chemist. Rams is doing his thing with the heal magic. It's pretty epic at it, actually. That's what I'm talking about. We want, we want the chemist by herself. Preferably getting mid charged. <laughs> yeah, she's she can definitely be taken care of. We should focus on someone else instead. Go for the ranger. Yep. It's weird to think. God damn! Stupid caution. I wish it didn't exist on that unit. Actually, one of the least useful abilities. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to do there. I think I was trying to go for a song of time on that squire, but. Accidentally got Rams in the range as well. So Snake's abilities are definitely unreliable to say the least. But we have them focusing damage on Snake instead of healing the chemist, which is fine by me. Because I can just heal it up with Ramza. And because regen is so awesome, I don't really have to do much and get all of my MP back. So he raises up the chemist once again, but we should be able to do something about that. <laughs> We're gonna focus more on these two. Or <laughs> just at a range for a double panel rapid shot. It's too bad. I'm actually surprised that that squire is still at full health. While I had my microphone muted at this point, <laughs> when I was assuming that I was actually recording everything, I'm pretty positive that I was complaining about the uh, don't move proc on <laughs> cross slash. But I've been informed that it's all good now, so. I should have that up and running soon. He actually gets 54% front shot on Snake. So we're gonna hit every single person with regen. Which is so good. Now we even hit everyone too. Even with Snake's terrible, terrible 45 faith. I'm gonna go for another sleeper hold, I bet. 42%. Nice. Actually got it this time. 16% <laughs> shot. Oh, thanks. Should be taking this ranger down pretty quick. 
And he must have either defense up or bad combat, because 16 damage is pitiful. for a braver on the sleeping squire for the extra damage. I think that might have been a mistake. <laughs> Missed the stop on the uh, ranger. Yeah, I think it would have been better just to let him stay asleep while the chemist's counter ticks down. I would have done it differently this time. So I'm gonna go in with Puncher. I miss. That snake will be able to take her down, I guess. We definitely faced the wrong direction, but whatever. So it looks like the rogue is going down. Nice. Braver hit from down there? Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> we can blade beam for six damage. Yeah, it's not even worth it. We'll go for a side shot, which gets guarded. Bastard. And the enemy continues the sandbag. The mighty fist of the priest takes care of that, though. <laughs> Can't sleep or hold from down there. So we'll just knife her in the side. Nice. Got that 20% dodge. One turn braver. Probably forcing him to potion himself. A 20 shot on the ranger. Waiting place. And Lynx looks like he's in place to finish off the squire. Nice. So just one unit left. Since Ramza has no offensive abilities yet, we're just gonna punch her. <laughs> gonna use our camo and just chill. One thing I haven't been using this fight whatsoever is Snake's uh, stealth ability, but I guess it hasn't been very useful. So we're gonna target a fire panel so we can get the point blank crossbow shot on her. And it looks like this battle is nearly finished. We'll just do the JP song to get some JP. And get everyone to focus in on the last remaining unit. Since Snake is invisible, he has concentrated. And we win. Nice. <laughs> So I threw this video up, I, I should say, I just powered through the narration just so I could continue on with this LP series, because I actually wanted to uh, play this game again, but I had been procrastinating with this because I hate doing post-narration. So uh, I'll see you guys shortly for the next video, because I definitely plan on putting another one out soon. So thanks for watching.